Come down and get it. Heavens, what's all that racket? Oh! <laughs> We didn't touch you. I'm going to get changed. There's more juice in the fridge. Fresh juice? <laughs> the refrigerator sneezed. <gasps> Poor thing, it must be cold. <laughs> the poor <laughs> fridge! What, what are, are you doing, doing here? Are you proud of yourself for what you did to your mother? <laughs> but we didn't touch her. The orange juice spilled on Mom all by itself. I don't have to touch you either to punish you and put you on a proper train. <laughs> Let's go for passengers to Istanbul. All aboard. Girls, I don't know where we are, but I'd say we better get on that train. Yeah, let's take the train. What are we waiting for? Hurry, Ramene. Oh, now where did he go? This is the last call for the Paris Istanbul train. Girls, let's get on the train. Oh, we'll miss the story. Do you really think it's going to leave on time? Excuse me, sir. Is this the queue? Oh, I thought I'd lost my ticket. <laughs> Tickets, evil play! Tickets? You mean we have to have tickets? Indeed, young lady. This is the most luxurious train in the world. The Orient Express. Paris to Istanbul. Oh, wow. Girls, move along. We're in the way here. Ah, the famous explorer, Professor Cotamain. Welcome. Are you planning to do an expedition in Istanbul? Yes, I'll be going from Istanbul to Asia in search of dinosaurs. In search of dinosaurs? Well, you won't be able to come back by train. The Orient Express doesn't allow animals. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> we don't allow animals. <laughs> What's he laughing about? Girls, girls, what are you doing standing there? Hurry, Ramene. Somebody might take our seats. Yes, of course. <laughs> well, well, here I am again, about to travel off to see the world. Now what? The train is about to leave! Oh, <clears throat> excuse me, girls. You're sitting on my luggage. Excuse us, We didn't realize we're sorry about that. I can't seem to find a porter for my luggage. And what are you girls doing here? Well, we don't have tickets. We didn't know we needed any, but that nasty conductor won't let us on without them. Give me a minute to think. Let's see if I can help out. Of course I've got it. I think I've figured out the solution to your problem. You'll get on the train with me as sure as my name is Agatha Christie. Porter? What? Uh, no, I, I'm just... Uh... Please put my luggage on the train and quickly because it's about to leave. Well, yes, yes, of course. Uh, right away. Next time I'm gonna pull on something else. Tickets, evil play! Yes, yes, right away. Uh, here you go. Does this train go directly to Tahiti? Welcome. You're Paul Gauguin the painter, aren't you? Well, to go to Polynesia, you have to change in Istanbul. Hurry, hurry, the train is leaving! Stop the train! Here's my ticket. What are you looking at? Buy too uh, fat, perhaps? Uh, no, no. <laughs> uh, about time. You're always like Ali. There we go. We did it. <laughs> Thank goodness. I was a little uncomfortable. We are all here. Hey, what about Annie? Annie! She's out there! Porter, quick! Porter, hurry, hurry! In it. Um, I mean, the box with my hat in it. Uh, oh, yeah, the hat box. Right away. Uh, it's like lead. The owl can't lift the box with Annie in it. It's full of stone. Triplets, they've tricked me again. Ali, what are you doing with that box? Stop messing around, do you hear me? Come on, hurry up! Come on, a little bit more. Where did that owl go? He's supposed to be helping me. Ali! Oh, 
I just can't hold on anymore! Great! That's Annie out of the story! <laughs> huh? Where'd she go? How infuriating! She must have sneaked onto the train! Climb in! Climb in! You trippets will pay dearly for this! Oh, which help you want to get on? You fool, you help the triplets. Go away, I don't need your help. But Wedge, you wouldn't think of leaving me out here all alone, would you? Wedge? Well, I guess she would. But I'll change that. I'm gonna get on that train. So your names are Annie, Tessa, and Nelly, And you say that a witch is always punishing you? You believe us? People normally don't. Our father and mother just laugh it off. Where are those three little stowaways? They say we made up the story of the witch, and that is not true. Something that's been made up can be true, too. Didn't you know that? How can that be? If you've made something up, it can't be true. Of course it can. There are things that have been made up, and they're actually real. I'll show you something, so you'll see what I mean. This story here is made up, but the book is... Oh, real! Wow! Let's see. Agatha Christie. Hey, this is your picture. Did you write this? Well, yes, I did, girls. I write mystery novels. Would you tell us how to write a novel, please? Tell us. Huh? Please explain it to us. Oh, that's a hard one. In order to learn how to write a novel, you just have to write it. <laughs> so why don't we write one? It will be fun. What do you think? Yeah, you could write it and we could help you. Yeah! What do I have to do? Very well, girls. In order to write a mystery novel, we mustn't forget the most basic element. The first thing we need is a mystery. Huh? They can't get away as long as the train is moving. Oh, what's this? They are in there. We need a mystery to solve. And where are we going to find a mystery? Aha! I caught you, triplets! Huh? Uh -huh. I showed you my uh -huh. ticket. What more do you want? Oops, but on me. <laughs> that must have been the other compartment. Aha! Uh -huh. Are we in Istanbul yet? <laughs> Where's that laughter coming from? I think it's coming from the compartment next door. <laughs> now I got them! <laughs> ah! <laughs> But I heard them laughing. Where did they go? How infuriating. They got away again. Mr. Conductor, have you noticed there's an owl out there waving to Wait us? Wait for me. Wait for me. That was a close one. <laughs> if you see a set of triplets around, please let me know. I'll try to keep that in mind. Mm. Oh. Huh? Agatha Christie, I've read all your books. Really? When's your next novel coming out? Have you already written it? Well, I'm doing the research on it right now. Would you mind? Yeah. Moving out of the way, young man. Don't you see that you're blocking the corridor? Did oh, you hear me? Sorry. Burn, there's a oh. it. <laughs> so, would you please get out of the way? Oh! Whoa. Get Finally, there's light. Oh no! It's the last car! Get down! <laughs> the light's gone out. Yes, how are? Oh. Oh, I'm gonna turn on the light! gonna miss the train. Hey, there are the triplets. Hey, wait for me. Stop! Hey, huh? Who's knocking at the door? Oh, oh, Who's there? How weird. Oh, what, what happened?
and what is leg doing here? Listen, get off me, you rude man! Sorry! And give me back no. my hat! Well, I think it suits him! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like this has ever happened to me oh, before! Please do pardon that little incident! <laughs> wow, does she have a temper? Huh? The box! Did you notice? The box is empty! What are you saying? That can't be! <gasps> been a theft. The manuscript of my latest novel has been stolen. I kept it in here and I don't have any copy of it. Maybe the novel is somewhere else. There's got to be some explanation. That's impossible. The manuscript was in the box. I'm absolutely sure of it. Then it must have been stolen by one of the passengers on the train, right? Whoever it is, we'll find them. Oh, really? Will you help of me? Of course we will. Listen, so what do we do now? Well, I suppose first we have to tell the conductor. That's not a good idea. The conductor is the bored witch. Well, if the conductor is the witch, let's tell him and we can have some fun with that. Ah, Mrs. Christie, you're a friend of those three girls, aren't you? Have you seen them come by here? They're three girls that sneaked on the train and they're very dangerous. Who, me? I haven't seen anything. I don't have any time for children right now. Yes, I understand. But just remember, don't trust the triplets. They're always up to trouble. Girls, you can come out now. The conductor witch is gone. <laughs> the bored witch never figures anything out. Girls, the first thing we must do is check the suspects. The suspects? Whoever stole the novel can't escape until the train makes its first stop. Of course, I will explain everything to you. I saw everything, 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 everything. But I mean everything. You see, when the lights went out, I was really frightened. Not because there was no light, but because a robber came into the compartment and stuck a gun in my back. He wanted to steal my bag, but I moved away, and he stole Mrs. Christie's novel instead. Yes, but were you able to get a good look at his face? You know, I think the robber is the man who is always standing in the corridor smoking his pipe. He's a very suspicious character. I think it was an accident. A very unfortunate accident. You see, I have a theory which explains everything that happened. The tin box was most likely open. And when the train entered the tunnel, a gust of air came in through the window and blew all of the pages of the novel away. It was an accident, just a very unfortunate accident. There's no doubt about it, young lady. Agatha's novel was stolen by a prehistoric bird. A prehistoric bird, really? Completely prehistoric, from the post-tertiary era, uh, to be more exact. He flew in through the window and proceeded to gobble up the novel. He didn't leave one single scrap of paper. A prehistoric birds tend to eat a lot of paper, you know. <laughs> a lot of paper? Are are you sure that's what happened? I'm absolutely sure. Huh? Hey, here it comes. The train is coming. I'm going to get on the train, whether the witch likes it or not. Wait, wait. I want to get on. Wait. Oh. Achoo. Mm. Agatha, what are you writing? I'm writing all the details of the investigation. Professor Quartermain says it was a prehistoric bird. A dinosaur <laughs> stealing a novel! <laughs> right. I have a feeling the professor reads a lot of science fiction. Well, he says that he has scientific proof. He says he heard the prehistoric bird let out a blood-curdling screech, and that he also felt his feathers in the bird ate the entire novel. Hmm, very interesting. All of these facts are a great help in carrying out our investigation. And now, Agatha, what's the next step? What do we do? Look into which of the suspects would have a motive for stealing a novel. Well, now we're gonna see if the train stops. <sighs> Mr. Quartermain, who does that shoe belong to? Oh, what shoe? Um, That's one of Agatha Christie's shoes. Why do you have it? Because I'm a great fan of hers, and I want to set up a museum of objects belonging to famous mm. people. So Mr. Quartermain has a motive for rubbing the manuscript. 
Listen, Mrs. Rafakis, have you seen three look-alike girls around here? Yes, I certainly have. They are going up and down the corridors investigating the robbery case, but they are not to blame. Oh no, then who is? It's the writer's fault. Writers are always making things up. Uh, they always make things up? Sometimes I do the same thing. I suppose they do that to keep from being bored. <laughs> well, I would outlaw mystery novels. I'd burn them all. <laughs> all of them, all of them, all of them. Oh, so she has a motive for stealing the novel. Oh, yeah, to burn it. The last mystery novel I read was a real disappointment. I prefer love stories. Oh, hey, look. The girls you are looking for are playing in the corridor. Do you see them, Mr. Conductor? Mm. Hello? Ah! Ah, the board works! Hey, ah! stop right ah! there! Don't think you're going to escape from this train. Aha! Uh -huh. Now you're in the last car. <laughs> huh? But there's no one there. Where could they have gone? Don't worry, no one will find us here. We found out that Gogan also has a motive for stealing the novel because he needs money to go to Tahiti. Each of the three suspects has a motive. This case seems really complicated. Think about it, girls. Just think about it no for a minute. No matter how complicated it is, we have to find the solution. Maybe we should add one more name to the list. I know, <gasps> it was the Bored Witch. Not a trace of those girls. They've completely disappeared. Where could those mischievous girls have gone? Excuse me, Mr. Cordamin. Do you know why we've been called here together? To solve the missing novel case, we are going to reconstruct the events which took place. Reconstruct the events? What does that mean, young lady? Well, a reconstruction of the events means that everyone repeats exactly what they did at the time and in the same order. This is an outrage. I didn't rob anything. It's an insult <gasps> to my honor to be a suspect. I'll do whatever you tell me to do because I'm innocent. You liar. I don't believe a word you say. Maybe it's because it was you who did it. If you insult oh, this woman again, I'll do... What a nasty smell. Quartermain, you're defending this woman so passionately. It makes me think you're in this together. But say... Oh, Where are you? Please, put yourselves where you were just before the train entered the tunnel. Would you mind moving out of the way, young man? Don't huh? you see that you're blocking the corridor? Mm. That's what I told him. So that was when the train went round the curve just before the tunnel, right? Exactly. And that's when oh. we were both thrown into Miss Christie's compartment. <gasps> but I... I... I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me, I may have overdone it a little there. Yes, now I remember exactly. I know how it all happened. I got up to adjust the light bulb, and that's when the prehistoric bird attacked me. I didn't hear any bird. I just felt a robber stick the pistol in my back. No robber came into the compartment. I just took my pipe out of my mouth, the train car shook, and I bumped into Mrs. Rafkes. So then, the prehistoric bird went wee, wee. Don't you think that might have been the sound of train wheels breaking? <laughs> uh, well, um, how do you explain that I touched the bird's feathers, huh? Uh, he had very, very long feathers. As long as the feathers on Mrs. Raffy Kay's hat? Uh, maybe you're right, girls. I hadn't considered that. So uh, I moved out of the way to let the robber by. Give me my hat, young lady. Whose turn is it now? Come on. That's when I lost my balance, uh -huh. and I grabbed Mrs. Rafka's arm. Oh, what do you think you are doing? And I oh. fell like this. <laughs> oh, you fool, you made us fall down. Mm, so that means nobody touched the box. The, the box? box? No, I was too busy fixing my hairdo. Oh. <laughs> and nobody touched the light bulb either, right? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's all this secrecy about, girls? Have you solved the case? Maybe so, Agatha. Can we have a look in your handbag? You're not going to find my novel in there. We know that, Agatha. But it's not a novel we're looking for in your handbag. Hmm. Oh, oh. I was thinking that, but I didn't oh. dare say anything. You <laughs> took the light bulb out, right? So what? We're not investigating the theft of a light bulb. It's a novel we're looking for. There was never a novel in this box. Admit it, you made it all up right from the start. Ha! I knew it all. All, all right from the start. Remember, that's what I told you, Mr. Cotterman. Uh -huh. Oh, well done, girls. You've resolved the case. I must congratulate you, but I also owe you an apology. Ah, uh, what's that? Uh. What? You don't believe I knew it all along or what? <laughs> You idiot! You good for nothing!
Something feather-brained blockhead! I didn't know any other way to stop the train. Oh, I'm sorry. Wow! Lee, you fool! Now get these rocks off the track! Don't worry, the passengers will help me. <laughs> I feel like stretching my legs and getting a bit of fresh air. Oh, uh, Michelle, are we there yet? Either I arrive late or he falls asleep wherever he is. Oh, look at this ramonette. It's the ideal spot for a summer home. Let's get this train moving again! Oh, it's ideal. We can put a swimming pool over there. But it's freezing cold here. Everything's covered with snow. I want to spend the summer here. Oh. And don't keep finding reasons to contradict me, Ramone. Uh, okay. Look, the train is finally starting up again. It's about time I was getting tired of being stuck here in the middle of the snow. Okay, Agatha. Now tell us why you tricked us with that whole story. I realize I did that, but you told me that you wanted to help me write a novel. Yeah, but with all that business of the robbery, we didn't get a chance to write one. Oh, but while you were investigating the case, I was taking lots of notes, and that's led to a very entertaining mystery no novel. Way! Wow, we did all of that? Mm-hmm. The only thing I have to do is order it a bit uh, more. infuriating! Oh, well, I thought the conductor was the thief. <laughs> Now there really is a novel in the box, and it's by Agatha Christie and the Triplets. This time they not only won, but they wrote a novel to boot. Enough is enough. Off you go, girls. Off you go. Oh, hey, girls, where did you go? Heavens, that really is a mystery. Girls, it's snack time. Come on, girls, snack time. Come and get it. Time for a snack. I'm so hungry. Well, this time I'll put it down, just in case. Hi, Girls, Mom. what were you doing all that time without making any noise? We were riding the train. Choo-choo! You took a train ride? Oh, you girls, you're in a world of your own. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>